the Raspberry Pi is a tiny, inexpensive, yet powerful computer that fits in the palm of your hand. It has been making waves in the business world. 3,600 companies around the world use Raspberry Pi in their business. Almost 1,000 of them are in the US, 220 in the UK, over 200 in Germany, others are in many other countries around the world. Raspberry Pi's flexibility, low cost, compact size, make it an attractive option for various business applications including Internet of Things and Bluetooth projects. Availability of dustproof and waterproof cases makes it a viable option for many industries where these qualities are required. In this video we review Raspberry Pi based gateways we offer. We also offer iOS and Android based gateways that are reviewed in other videos. As a reminder, a Bluetooth tag, also known as a Bluetooth beacon, sends out a Bluetooth signal that can be picked up by other devices, called gateways. A gateway can determine how far this tag, and therefore the piece of equipment, is, from the gateway. It can also connect to a cloud database and make a record when this item appeared near that gateway and when it left the area, so the gateway can no longer see it. Some Bluetooth tags can work as probes, and measure and transmit additional information, such as temperature or humidity. Let's review, how you configure Raspberry Pi-based gateway. How it works. And review data, and reports you receive. Power up the router, open the browser on your computer, and open the login page at the address we provide. Login. The first page you see after logging in, is the main menu. And the first thing you need to do, is to register the gateway. If the gateway was already registered, the application will pull its data from the database and you will be able to review and modify it. Otherwise you will just enter several parameters starting with the name. Then gateway ID. ID of the location where this gateway will be installed. Gateway IP on the local and, if relevant, outside network. Local IP of the network router. And the port, used to connect to the gateway from the outside network, if you want to have this opportunity. You need to select, if your gateway will service a general location, such as a warehouse, where its main function will be to keep track of what is inside that location. Or it will service an exit, that is, if it will track items that leave or enter that warehouse. Of course, you can change network to which this gateway connects, and password needed to access this network. Now that we registered our gateway, let's set scanning parameters. If the gateway was already assigned necessary parameters, the application will pull the data from the database and you will be able to review and modify it. Otherwise you will just enter several parameters starting with the scan duration. That is how long the gateway will scan for the Bluetooth beacons. Time between scans, both, during work, and, non-work hours, and, maximum scan distance. Please note, that, firstly, this parameter is very imprecise, and, secondly, zero means that the gateway will record signals from all beacons. In other words, for non-exit gateway, maximum scan distance should be set to zero then it will record all data it can hear. And for an exit gateway, that you place near the entrance to your location, the maximum scan distance should be set to 5 to 10 meters so that it would record only signals from the items that leave or return to that location. The next two parameters reflect how often the gateway should send data during work, and non-work hours. The next field in this form tells the gateway, when it should send a special alert. There are five parameters gateway can alert you about. When any beacon appeared within a scanning distance, when a beacon disappeared from a scanning distance, etc. The next two fields assign minimum and maximum beacon major numbers. These numbers work as identification that you can set for each beacon. Setting maximum and minimum majors, allows you to split your assets into multiple groups, and then track these groups of assets using special alerts we just discussed. Finally, there is an email address to which the gateway will send alerts. To find where your assets are, as well as their movement history, and other details, you use web interface to the cloud-based website and database. This interface works identically, regardless of what hardware you use for gateways, Raspberry Pi, iPad or Android tablet. The very first page after you log in, provides overview of your assets, including their current location. A click on the view item details link, provides details about the item you are interested in, including brief description, image, recent locations, showing from what time until what time item was at that location time at each location in hours, and recent alerts. There are also multiple reports that provide you detailed information on assets location and count, assets movements, usage, and alerts, including asset utilization, and missing assets. Details on asset movement through exits and entrances, including asset discrepancies. If you have temperature and humidity sensors, you will also have detailed temperature and humidity information. If you are interested in tracking assets using Bluetooth and want to learn more, please contact us through our website or call 208 806 
3300. We are located in beautiful Boise, Idaho. It's a mountain time zone.